Hey guys, it is Mendes here, and welcome to part zero of Love Plus! As ever, part zero is your chance to see the first 30-40 uh, minutes or so of a game, and hopefully get some good first impressions of it. Now, before you watch this video, uh, I actually have a very important mission for you guys. At the top of the description for this video, just underneath the video, you will see a link to this game on Steam Greenlight, and I would like you to absolutely go ahead and uh, vote that up on Steam Greenlight to increase the chance of it actually coming out on Steam. And the reason I can say this with absolute confidence before even going into the game is that this actually is a fairly, you know, fairly old uh, indie game in that it was released, I believe Love Plus itself was released in uh, October of 2011 or so. But the game is actually a remake of uh, an original platformer called Love, which I have actually played uh, several times. And remains one of my, uh, one of my favourites, you know, retro, old school style, you know, difficult platformers. Up there with things like VVVVVV and uh, things like that. And so I absolutely would implore you to go ahead and uh, vote this up on Steam Greenlight. If you actually, if you have to watch the video before going up and upvoting it, then that's fine as well. Uh, as long as you go up and upvote it, that's really all that matters. The game is currently available on uh, Indie Game Stand under a pay what you want model. And that's really the main reason that I'm doing this uh, part zero. So if you like it, go ahead and support the developers by going and buying it. If you buy it on Indie Game Stand, you also get a Desora key, and uh, there is also a promise that if it comes out on Steam, you'll also get a free Steam key for the game. So go ahead and uh, go get that if you like what you see. So this is Love Plus by Fred Wood. It is a uh, you know retro-style platformer. It has three difficulty modes. We have Easy Mode, which is Unlimited Lives, so score is severely hampered. It has standard mode, which is 100 lives, lose as few lives as possible to gain a better final score, and YOLO mode! Oh, YOLO! That's... a thing. <laughs> you literally only live once. That is a one life, like, no death run. So now I don't think I'm good enough to do the uh, no death run at this point. <laughs> Who knows, maybe with time. But I'm gonna go with standard mode. So I actually played this game a very long time ago. It's been a very long time since I've actually played this game. Uh, the general premise is it's pretty much simple jump and run, except with one little additional gimmick. The game is, on the whole, wants to throw pretty difficult uh, challenges at you. So what it's done is it's made a system where you can make, you know, basically save states anywhere. Even in midair, I think? No, not, not in midair. You have to actually be touching the ground. And sometimes it's going to throw little bullshit things at you like that. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. I should have remembered that, because I just played through this first level literally a few minutes ago. <laughs> but we can put down a few like checkpoints. You see those uh, that flashy thing over there is my checkpoint. So if I die, that is where I will continue from. And you can put that down pretty much anywhere. So you can, you can roughly save state through the game. But that's kind of how it's designed. You know, uh, it's designed with the idea of you trying out things in mind. The obvious comparison to make at this point is something like I want to be the guy, but it really isn't that terrible. <laughs> you know, it gives you the checkpointing system, which I think is incredibly generous and really uh, beyond what is really even required to beat this game, I think. But level design itself is fairly difficult. Now I've not, obviously, as I said, I've not played it for a very long time, so I will not remember much of the uh, level design. And I do believe there are more levels. I am totally not sure about that. I've never really gone on to play any like more levels beyond the what comes with the game. So we're moving on to level two here. I believe there are 11 levels uh, that come actually with the game. I totally cannot remember. So this is all about going down with spikes. <laughs> Occasionally you get silly things. Uh, you can see down there, this is a bit silly. <laughs> and of course, uh, you don't actually have any health so every hit will kill you. Hey guys, it's been Desir playing a sucker <laughs> Uh I managed to actually cheese this totally in my practice test of this game, like this. <laughs> but slightly better. And <laughs> I didn't even lose a life here. <laughs> so I have 100 lives, I'm probably just going to keep going until I either finish the game or spend all my lives. I'm not sure which is more likely at the moment. Probably I'm going to spend all my 100 lives, because I know the game gets 
quite a lot more difficult. I cannot remember where to go from here. Oh, I don't guess it doesn't matter. The game, obviously, you know, uh, we've talked about blind jumps in things like my Rico playthrough and my Rico Part Zero. And in a game like Rico, it's a lot less accessible. But in a game like this, which kind of promotes, uh, you know, experimentation with the use of the checkpoint system, uh, blind jumps are actually something that, you know, I, I can really get behind in a game like this. Because the whole point is, you've got a whole ton of lives to get through. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure we'll be getting through them quite a lot. But blind jumps in this game are really, you know, uh, something that you can kind of expect in level design. It's not, it's not something that's outright bad. So that's kind of what I've been talking about in things like Rico, where, you know, the level design, and I really need to place my checkpoints a little bit more often, the level design can't really stand out as good or bad on its own without taking into account the actual mechanics of how the game's actually designed. So anyway, <laughs> uh, we can obviously do little tappy hops here, and that's kind of what's required here. I'm wondering if we can go down here, but that might actually be a bit risky. Let's try it once. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel almost skillful, I do. <laughs> Segments like this are the ones that kind of make you glad to have uh, infinite checkpoints uh, wherever you want. <laughs> Gonna be totally honest. Alright. And checkpoints are super easy to make. You've only, you've only got two buttons, apart from the movement, you know, le you've got left and right. But apart from that, you only have jump and uh, checkpoint. Uh, you can al you also have a button to kill yourself, you press up and checkpoint, that'll kill yourself. You can also press down and checkpoint to kind of reset your checkpoint if you put it in a silly place. And moving on to level four. Uh, I think this is where the game starts to get a little bit uh, challenging. Obviously, we've not really seen much challenge so far. And I've just kind of been breathing through this. Again, partly that is because I have experience with the game. Uh, albeit from a long time ago, but I do still have kind of the, the memory of just how to go about solving some of these particular platforming challenges. That was a pretty terrible thing to do, and I really need to be placing this checkpoint more often. There's absolutely no like penalty for placing a checkpoint. I don't think. I don't think it actually counts in your final score. The only thing that counts in your final score is how many times you die. Now, is it this is wind? I think this is wind anyway. <laughs> but it basically means that you fall slower. So we got to kind of dodge around the spikes here, and obviously you can't place a checkpoint while you're falling, so this is a legitimate uh, challenge section where we have to actually survive this whole fall before we can place another checkpoint. There we go. And I'm doing this again fairly easily because I have experience with the engine. A machine in India, level 5. So you might be thinking, hey, this isn't challenging at all. We're like already, you know, oh wow, that was stupid. We're like already at level 5 out of 11. I think there's 11 levels anyway. From what I could find in my research period, there are 11 levels. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. But, uh... Yes, <laughs> is what I can say to you on that. We are at level 5 in... Level 5 out of 11. But obviously these levels are going to get harder and longer as we go along. I might actually finish this game, you know, in the part zero, and then <laughs> that would be kind of hilarious, because it's, it's like, hey, this is a test to see whether I want to make a full series. Oh, wait, I accidentally went and made a full series. <laughs> I think people have been taking my part zero thing a little bit too literally. My part zero is really meant as more of a kind of game showcase than uh, to, you know, to question whether I want to go on and make a series. Obviously, whether I want to go and make a series is a big part of it, but generally, I think the number of games that I actually go on and make a full series of will be pretty low compared with the number of games that I do. So here we're going to deal with Toxic Waste. I remember this level being super difficult when I first did it. Oh my god, how terrible was I? <laughs> like, really? This game's harder than I'm making it look, I, I promise. Honestly, I, I don't know why I'm managing to do so well. Maybe it's because the uh, platforming elements is so similar to Rico, which I've been playing quite a bit of recently. I'm even managing to, like... I, I've only lost 10 lives so far. I'm already in level 6. <laughs> I would never have been able to do that before. So this, this is kind of acidic uh, death falling from the sky. That's great. Moving on to level 7 already. I cannot believe we're this far through the game. Rock the Mega. 
I cannot believe we are this far through the game. What is the trick here? I think this is vanishing platforms. Yes, it is! Vanishing platforms from Mega Man. <laughs> this is where we're going to use all our lives, isn't it? <laughs> so, here, here, here. And we've got to kind of watch, like, in advance where we want to jump next to. So the next one's up here, then down here, then up here, then down here. And you kind of have to watch, like, two ahead to figure out where you're going to be, where you're going to need to be. Oh, that was lucky. Uh, when the platforms shift. So let's get on here. Let look. Whoa! Oh! I got caught on the bottom of the platform. Okay, okay. This this is this is the level where I could possibly see myself dying a little bit. Just a little bit. And actually, this is really tame for a vanishing uh, platform segment. There's no uh, weird loops or anything like that. There's only two uh, phases for the for the blocks to be. So this is a remarkably fair challenge compared with what I've been dealing with in other platformers. <laughs> oh boy, I feel I feel spoiled. Okay, now what do we want to do here? I think here we can actually just go ahead and jump into the laser. Yeah, we can uh, step on the uh, laser themselves. So let us be very careful about this. You can I like I like little like visual touches there in terms of the. Uh, the energy that is powering these lasers going up and down. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a little little neat touch that kind of gives you a little bit of a visual cue as to when you're supposed to go. The game does actually have a uh, tutorial, which I uh, did quickly off camera just to, to rem remind myself of anything I may be forgetting. I think this is going to be the last obstacle in this level, just these uh, bouncy little platforms over here. And I say, I would really like to see this game on uh, Steam Greenlight. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could go ahead and click that top link in the description. And vote it up to uh, essentially be that much closer to a Steam release. Which is the important thing. And obviously if you buy it on the Indie Game Stand, as I've already mentioned, you'll get a free Steam key when the game does, if the game does, come out on Steam. I was, was so sure that something was going to kill me there. <laughs> but it didn't. Amazing! Level 8, more metal. I'm actually feeling like I might be, you know... Okay, wow, giant saw blades. That's always fun. <laughs> I'm actually feeling that might be... <sighs> also, if you put a checkpoint in a silly place, sometimes you get the random death, sp death sprees. I'm actually feeling like I might be able to eventually work my way up to doing a... Uh, YOLO run of this game. That's something that might possibly happen. As you've seen, I've not exactly lost that many lives. I think the vast majority of the lives I've lost have been due to things that I've outright forgotten about. So what are we on, 18 lives lost? No, I think we're not doing that bad. At the end, you'll be giving a score based on how many lives you have. And... Uh, I think we should be getting a fairly decent score here. There's a little bit of a tree that's been uh, carved into here. There's a little bit of a love heart down there. The tutorial actually mentions that each of the levels has their own kind of level. What's this one? Level 9, Ebb and Flow. Each of the levels has their own, like, solid colour. I guess this one's blue. And anything that's blue in this level will be, uh, safe to touch. So the game is good about giving you kind of visual cues like that. This is kind of difficult because you obviously can't place checkpoints. I think the game is kind of realising at this point that checkpoints are a little bit overpowered. And now it's got to give you a challenge that uh, does not rely on having checkpoints. Okay, let's be very careful here. Let's go now. There we go, there we go, there we go. Can't, trying to go when we're at the very top. If we can like, jump when we're at the very top, then everything should be fine. All right. <laughs> kind of want another check, uh, like, uh, checkpoint, please. Another place that I can put a checkpoint. I didn't think I'd be asking for more checkpoints in this game, but... <laughs> This kind of scary segment. Just kind of jumping along here. Jumping along with the groove. And I can put a checkpoint down on here, I believe. Yes, I can. Hooray! And now back. <laughs> now, the problem here is that we're actually getting our head trapped in the ceiling, which is kind of funny. Like, if there's any small gaps in the ceiling, you actually get your head stuck so you can't move left or right. <laughs> That's a nice little interesting uh, touch. 
We want to go over this. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> we want to go... Whoa, got my head stuck there. So all the top ones we wanted to go when they're like high, high, as high up as possible. And these we actually kind of want to go when they're as low down as possible. To avoid getting our head trapped in the uh, ceiling. Which is actually a big, you know, risk. So I've been actually losing lives on that, which is surprising, i got to say. Uh, love level 10, roundabout. I'm going to finish this game. I, I'm fairly confident, actually, at this point. These are bouncy platforms. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> bouncy line platforms. I'm glad we've not seen that yet in Tobury. Oh, no. I've just jinxed Tobury, so we're going to experience line jump platforms. Yeah, you got to jump backwards here. This is a level I was actually stuck on for a while because I could not figure out how to get past this part. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta jump on the uh, line platforms. I don't want to finish this game! <laughs> I don't want to finish this game, I don't want to show off everything. I don't want to show off everything. Oh, I think I've messed up. I think I've messed up. I have messed up. To an extent, I think a good strategy here would actually be to just kind of... Uh, let as many platforms go as possible. Of course, it's now easier this time because there's a lot of platforms that have already gone. I think it might be easier to just let platforms go so that there's always platforms to land on later on in the level. Like, we've just skipped a massive part of the level. Just like that. Uh, here again, we're gonna... I'm actually gonna put a checkpoint down. Hooray! We're gonna wanna skip that. Here, I think we're just gonna wanna... Okay, we wanna wait for the first platform to go to the other side. Actually, I don't think I even need to do that. I think I can just jump over to that other platform. And everything should be okay. So let's get on this. The very last po possible second. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is going terribly. There we go. There we go. Now we want to get over there. Now this time we did actually have to wait for platforms to get over there. And there we go. That's going to finish up level 10. Is this the last level? This can't be the last level. Belly of the Beast. Like, I remember this being incredibly difficult the first time... Well, <laughs> not, well, not necessarily inc incredibly difficult, but I remember this being very difficult the first time I played it. I guess I may have got better at platformers since then. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I think starting out with 100 lives might have been a little bit overkill game. <laughs> I've only used 24 of them. Uh, I forget where to go here. I think you have to hit this. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and now you've hit that, something else will have changed previously in the level, I think. This is a little bit of a weird level because you have to kind of go all over the place. And obviously, the game so far... Wow, that was nice. I need to place these checkpoints more often. The game so far has kind of given you a kind of aversion to white things. In that white things will typically end up killing you. Or bouncy you into something that will kill you. And in this level, you just kind of have to uh, headbutt some white things. <laughs> and it's a little bit out of place like that. I remember this level being fairly long as well. So I guess we're actually going to be finishing this game this time. Hooray. <laughs> there we go. I believe the level comes with like 10 bonus levels. Uh, possibly with indie game stand. I need to place this checkpoint more often. Why do I not listen to myself? You'd think I'd listen to myself by now. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, game. There we go. You'd think I'd listen to myself. Let's go in the middle of these, then jump round. I think there's another thing we have to headbutt, like, right up here. Uh, is there another thing we have to headbutt right up here? Let's just keep making our way up what I can only assume is the esophagus of the beast that we seem to be inside. I, I know we climbed in its mouth. After that, I'm not entirely sure what happened. It's all, it's all turning into a remarkably terrible, scary dream. The beast ate me. I think we're climbing up its spine, actually, because I think this is back. Just denoted by the fact that this is a fairly uh, thick line. So this, this uh, beast has some fairly big problems going on inside his body. And uh, this I remember being fairly scary. Okay, there we go. And wait, am I out of the beast already? It's over to the left. Get a feeling the game wants me to go over to the right. I won't ever do what you want me to, game. Okay, maybe we'll go over to the right now. Well, 
The beast has been slain, probably. I don't know. I, I butted something in its, you know, inside its brain. I think it might have been inside its brain. I got to it from the mouth, so it probably wasn't the brain. You can get to the brain from the mouth, right? And there is our goal. <laughs> Levels completed bonus, 5,000 lives remaining bonus, 710. So you get 10 points per remaining life. I only used 29 lives. I am actually incredibly proud of myself there. Final score, 5960. Can you beat it? Of course you probably can. It's not that difficult to beat, honestly. Submit score online. Oh, God, yes. Let's go on. Let's go ahead and submit this. I placed number 10 in the online high score list. Somehow I doubt that. Wait, really? I've, I've really placed number 10 in the high score list? Just accidentally? No? Um. Woo! Submit. Yep, there we are, I'm number 10. <laughs> Go ahead and try and beat me if you want. <laughs> Wait, did I not try, did I not do this before? Like, this looks like a fairly, like, old leaderboard as well. I can't be number 10. Is the game really this, like, not heard of? That's weird, because I've heard of it, and I very rarely hear about this these types of games. <laughs> I played it, like, a year ago or so. <laughs> but anyway, this has been Love Plus. Uh, I believe there are bonus levels, but I don't entirely know how to access them, so I'm going to actually end this video off here. Uh, and say yes, you should absolutely go ahead and steam green like this, and you should absolutely go ahead and uh, buy it on Indie Game Stand. It's under a pay what you want model, so you could buy buy it for uh, very cheaply. I think if you buy it for, let us just go and have a look at the website real quick. Uh, where is it? IndieGameStand.com. I believe if you buy it for over. Uh, over 177 then you get the full OST and the original Love game which I believe is exactly the same as the as Love Plus but uh, probably less evolved because I think Love Plus is actually a remake in Game Maker of the original Love uh, you can also buy it for $10 if you buy it for $10 then you get Rico as well which I would also highly recommend you also get Love Plus and whatever the next bonus game is going to be on Indie Game Stand which I should probably make a part zero of as well so that is going to be it for Love Plus uh, I, go ahead and see if you can beat YOLO mode because <laughs> on you know what just a little bit of an additional uh, aside here just to kind of pad out this video a little bit let us see how far I can get in YOLO mode. So obviously we can't place checkpoints, because there's really no point. <laughs> My first problem is has always got to be this pillar here, which the third and fifth pillars will fall if you land on them. So let's see how, how far I can get on YOLO mode. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say probably that far. I'm guessing maybe level... I might manage level two, maybe level three? seems like a possibility. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to think of any like obstacles that really held me up. Uh, I can't exactly think of any at the moment, so let's try YOLO. <laughs> if I manage a full YOLO mode, I'll just be like, what the hell? Did For some reason I'm in the zone, I'm going to go play some Rico. <laughs> Screw this. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that went way too good. I can, I, I really do highly recommend playing this game for yourself though, even though I've kind of shown off all the levels. <laughs> like I said, I'm pretty sure the, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe there aren't any bonus levels then, maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being silly. None of the games available on Desora as well, if you don't want to get on Steam for whatever reason. But who are we going to see this game on Steam? Obviously the game's not quite as, uh, Feature packed as VVVV. Okay, this might give me problems. Uh, I need to land on that when it's down, so let's go. No! Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay. Let's go now and let's go. Wow! That was actually good. 
I am surprised that I managed to make it through that unscathed. All right. What's the next obstacle that could possibly get me? This is the maze game. Uh, oh, there's the platforming segments at the end of this that actually I think got me a few times. Uh, basically, the platforming segment with the tappy hops, which I think was pretty much the only time in the game that we actually needed to use the tappy hops. Let's see if we can make it through there, YOLO. Alright. Uh, 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 fortunately, there's no fall damage. It's okay, there's no fall damage. I just have to redo that a little bit. Okay, there, here we go. Here we go. This is going okay. This is going okay. <laughs> the age-old question. How do I make a 40-minute first impressions video of a game that doesn't have 40 minutes of gameplay? <laughs> I think that is my main problem with this game. If this game had more levels, it would be awesome. If there was a way to make bonus levels or like a level editor, that would be awesome. I don't think there is, although don't hold me to that. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I just keep making stuff up in this episode, really, don't I? There's bonus levels! Oh wait, okay, maybe there's not bonus levels. There's extra level! No, okay, maybe there's not. There's a level editor! No, there's, there's no level, I'm pretty sure there's no level editor. <laughs> Let's not be silly now. Let's concentrate. This is the time for concentration. Also making really risky uh, shortcut jumps. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that worked. Now little one one block jumps. Okay, now on to the level four. <laughs> uh, was there anything in this level that killed me first time? Uh, maybe the dropping segment? I don't think the dropping segment actually killed me last time I did it. But man, I'm feeling good to have gotten past that uh, platforming segment without... That was way too close. That was way too close, Mendez. I don't know what you're thinking you're trying, but that was way too close. Let's drop onto here, jump up to here. Generally be very, very careful. Okay, just checking uh, not know what the sound was playing because I thought I heard something weird then, but I guess it was just part of the background audio. Left, right, left. Come on, Mendez, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Right, left. Right, left, YOLO! <laughs> this is going remarkably well. <laughs> Maybe I'll play this game fully both times. Okay, this is gonna be my death. This level is gonna be my death. I'm fairly, fairly certain of it. Let's wait for another cycle, just because I wanna kinda of be dropping onto that platform. There we go. I can't see myself getting through this level without a little bit of problem, right? Uh, it's particularly these vanishing blocks. Okay. This is the same thing all the way up. This isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. If this level's not actually the death of me, I'm... I mean, I thought I'd die of the mashy things, honestly. I don't think the, the rest of this level's any difficult. I need to just stop talking. <laughs> Damn it, why can't I die? <laughs> why can't I die? What is wrong with me? What is going on? I'm gonna accidentally 100% this game! <laughs> Whoops. I'm... I don't know if uh, the final high score depends on time. I'm glad hitting my... Oh, I don't know where to land. I don't know where to land. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't know if the final high score depends on time taken. But am I going to get to the top of this leaderboard? Oh my god. It's a possibility. Possibility I cannot ignore. Let's land very precariously on the edge of that thing. Where do I have to land here? I don't remember. There we go. I am so, so just like on edge right now. I'm just shaking in my chair. My hands are shaking. I just like. This is like the greatest moment of my gaming career right here. So it's just the greatest achievement I will ever have gotten if I can beat this on YOLO mode. I didn't come in expecting to beat this game so badly, but here you go. <laughs> like, I'm more surprised that I've, uh, you know, played this game before, and it's not, you know, a, it apparently isn't that popular of a game. <laughs> I believe one of the testimonials was from the uh, creator of VVVVVV, who said they played it long before creating VVVVV, the original love at least. 
So let's be very... Oh, this is going to kill me. This is absolutely going to kill me. This is absolutely going to kill me. There is there is no way. I have, I have never survived this. Come on. I have never survived it. Come on! Come on! What is wrong with you, game? You can't even kill me right. I don't want to... I don't want to live. I don't want to be in this game. Stop. Stop. What are you doing, game? Game, stop. I don't understand. I'm not supposed to be any good at games. I'm going to beat this. And now that I've said that, I'm definitely not going to beat this. So the next level, I believe, is Ebon Tide, isn't it? The one with all the, uh, like, bouncy blocks that go up and down. It may be. In which case... I should not have any problems with that, because I did manage to beat it without dying first time. Oh no, this one's more metal. Oh, this one's the one with the saws, that's right. <laughs> wow, that was pathetic. <laughs> well, if you guys can go ahead and beat uh, whatever the previous score I got was. I can't remember what the previous score I got was. What was the previous score I got? So let's submit this score online. Uh, with a, a, the A button, it's not the Z button, I keep pressing the Z button because I'm used to Rico. And let's go ahead and submit, I don't actually get to uh, write a comment about this. Because I only placed 86, so that is slightly worse than I did before, but uh... Woo! If you can beat my 5960 then, go ahead. <laughs> Honestly, I, I didn't even think it was that good of a score. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, See you guys! Wanted to make a show off video, accidentally beat the entire game almost twice. The Mindez story. Exactly, wait, sh shut up, shut up. Button. I understand where you're coming from, but it's definitely his false teeth. No, no! Yes! That's not the Yeah, it was! I was there! No, I think I know! I was. I was there!